In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can use sessions to help us manage data within our dynamic website. Now, sessions are different to global variables. Where global variables store static information, sessions allow us to store dynamic information that will be changed by the user or by the results that come back from an SQL query or from algorithms and calculations that we do from the user's requests. Now, sessions are stored server-side where cookies are stored client side. While cookies have timers, which could last from minutes, days, or years, a session will exist for the duration of the connection to the web server. Now to create a session, all we have to do is start the session. So with inside your PHP tag, all you need to do is go session underscore start bracket bracket semicolon. And this will open up a session with the server. Now sessions work much the same as a 2D array. So what we can do is create a session and look at, and hold the data for if the user has logged on or not. So let's go into our global variables, which we created in a previous tutorial, and we're gonna start the session here. Now once we've started the session, we can then create some default session data. In this case here, we wanna declare a variable called logged in. Now to turn this into some session data, what we need to do is declare this. And to do that, we need to talk to the server. So we're gonna use a dollar sign underscore session, use square brackets, which we'll see a lot in array lists. And we wanna place in there logged in. Then we can set its default value as zero. So within the session we've started, we've placed a variable within that session called logged in, and we've defaulted it to zero. Now on our page here, we've also started the session. So it knows the session is in existence and we can look at that variable by starting a PHP tag and saying, if the session square bracket logged in is equal to zero, we can then echo to the user, you're required to log on to access this site. Now, because login is equal to zero, if this is true, and we know from the global variable that this is set to zero, so therefore it will result true, it will be looking at the session, looking at that session variable, and if they match, it then should ask us to log on. Then we need to close our PHP tag and save this. Now let's have a look at this working. Now you see from our previous tutorial, we've got the page title and we've got the footer. So when we refresh the page, it then asks us to log on. Now sessions are very useful because we can actually store usernames in sessions or their preferred names. And then we can actually use that variable throughout our site to personalize the website. So we can create a session variable by using dollar sign session and then the variable we would like to use. We can also remove a session variable by using unset and this will remove it from the array list. We can clear out a session by destroying the session, and this will remove any information that has been held within the session and completely clear it from the server. Now, if we wanna just remove all the variables that are in our session, we can then use session unset, which will clear every variable in there without destroying the session. But one of the best things about using a session is that we can actually create variables such as username, place the contents of a PHP variable into the session, and then we can access this session information on any page within our site. So I hope you found this tutorial useful in looking at sessions, and I hope that you've got some ideas on how you can use it in your website, as this is a very important way of managing data in a dynamic website. If you did find this tutorial useful, give it a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also have a look around for other useful PHP tutorials.